back to Viology. Well, I am bringing you a video today that is more informative than anything. Of course, you know the election are just less than, well, no, it's about a month away. So guys, if you decide to vote absentee ballot, you probably want to look at this video. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, first thing you do when you want to vote absentee, you want to go online or you can go into your local area to do your voting and you want to go in and register to do it absentee. Once you do it absentee, they will send you information if you're doing it online like I did. Um, they will send you um, an email with all of the things that you need to print. What are you voting? Republican, Democrat, open, whatever. So after you mail your papers in, then a few days later, you will receive a pack such as I did. So guys, I cannot show you my address and I don't want you to know where I vote at, but the package is a nicely white package and it says voter registration absentee for county. So guys, what I wanna show you inside my ballot, some of the things that um, come in for your official ballot. The first thing when you open up your ballot the first thing you will see is some instructions. The first one is instructions of voting absentee. So if this is your first time voting absentee ballot and this is my first time, what you want to do is definitely go over and read all the information on this to make sure that you are doing it the correct way. So that is number one. So the number two things, guys, that's in there is, make sure there's no information that I have to worry about. It's not, this is an authorization to return the absentee ballot. So you will get a paper like this for your county, your area. It may be a different color, but for mine, it is this beautiful pumpkin orange for November. So um, on this one, it has all of your instructions of what to do. Um, you have your absentee ballot return in person by a person other than yourself. It is necessary for the absentee vote voter to complete and sign section one on this form. The person authorized to return this absentee ballot must complete and sign section two. Do not place this information in a ballot with your ballot. So guys, this information is whoever is returning your information, you send this back. Um, from how it is saying, it's more so if somebody's walking in to um, give it, that is where they know that this is, uh, I will blur it out because you can see on here where it is. But on the section, one, FC vote registration is your name, address, city, state, zip code, telephone number, voter registration number. Make sure you have your voter registration number. If you don't have it, go online for your local um, area for the voter registration and your number is on there. Also, guess what? Department of Motor Vehicles or your DMV, South Carolina is Department of Motor Vehicles. They do have it also, but the best chance of you to do it if you don't have your card is just to go online for your local area. And once you put in your social security number, it will give you your voter registration number. Also, you have to sign this and return it. Um, the, you sign on section two, it's a personal returning ballot and it's just the same identical thing. Um, and then on the bottom, of course, you know you have to sign it to make it valid. So that is the second piece of information that is in your packet. The next thing in my packet, guys, is my ballot herein. So therefore, guys, after you have cast your vote, you will put in here and you will seal it. So here you seal it. So that will make it legitimate. 
okay? So this is the next thing, the third piece of items that is in your ballot. So guys, the next thing is your actual ballot. I do have all of my information where I vote, all of that stuff. Um, I'm looking at it to make sure that I do have it all. Yes, I do. So guys, here on your official ballot, it will give you all the information um, to do it in pencil, ink pen. Um, make sure your bubbles are dark and very, very dark and blue or black ink. So no pencils, only ink. Because remember, you do it in pencil, they can erase it. Although it still will not be valid because once it go through, I used to work for the polls and I did it for about eight years. So therefore, if you're doing it this way and the pencil go through, once it go through those machines, it will kick it back out and that vote would not count. So um, the next thing is a write-in. You do have some areas where you can write in. So if you're gonna write in, make sure you darken the bubble and write it in. Um, on the first section of this, guys, um, it is your party. If you're doing straight party, if you are doing it straight, it makes it easier and the computer will pick it up just like that. So here guys, it is straight party. Here you just bubble in one Congress, uh, Constitution, Green, Republican, Aliens, Liberal, and um, Democrat. So if you bubble one of these in, it will automatically just cast the whole entire ballot for you. Um, oh wow, on this one, there are no amendments. Usually when we vote, guys, we do have amendments. So this one, we don't have amendments. Um, on this one is your president and vice president. So they have here all of your president and vice president who you want to um, vote for. For Green is Hopkins and Walker. For Republicans is Trump and Pierce. But alias is D. La Fu and Richardson. For Liberant is some names I've never seen. Cowan and Joskinson. Joskin. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. Um, and then of course it is Democrat and that is Biden and Harris. So on down is your U.S. Senate. So you have your um, your Senate there and then you have the u.s house of representatives um a district two so therefore once it get down to those parts after your president and your u.s senate then it comes down to the local things in your area so guys the best thing that i can tell you in your local area if you don't follow up with some of these things um you can just do straight ticket um, straight ticket, we'll just go ahead and do all of what you need to have it done. Um, some of these on my ballot is only one person that is running. So therefore, automatically, if you want someone else, you write it in. Or if you don't want to vote for that section, guys, you do not have to vote for a section that you don't want to. So um, on the back of my ballot... Um, it's still the coroner, the auditor, the county treasurer, the county counselor, um, the deed, the solid and water, and the uh, school trustee. So guys, um, this ballot is the next thing that you will see inside there. And it gives you some additional instructions, guys. This pe piece of paper here that's attached is letting you know, attention voters. Do not remove this stub from your ballot. So, uh, yeah, I have it there. This one piece of section here is telling you in bold letters, do not rip that off. Do not rip it off. So the next item, guys, in my packet is this piece. And it's letting you know, attention, ballot envelope must be signed and witnessed in order to make the vote count. So, guys... Besides you doing all of this and putting it in here, you must have this witness, meaning notarized by notary or an additional person that is signed that say, yes, you did do that. So um, 
Mm -hmm. I am a notary, a notary public. So I will be doing mine and my children on because I do have two that vote. So um, I'm a notary, so I would automatically do theirs myself. And the next thing, guys, that is the last thing that is in your packet will be this return envelope. I do have everything kind of like blocked off so you can't see where I vote and all of that good stuff. But this is the envelope that you will place all of that envelope. Um, you will place, of course, this piece inside this. Remember, do not put it in this envelope. So this piece does not go in this envelope. This piece will go in your main envelope. So remember that, do not put that in with your balance. Um, the only thing that should be inside this envelope is that. So that's the only thing that should be in this envelope. It's only your ballot. Or you can end up with this stuff not being authentic. So after you have placed this inside this envelope, you would take this envelope, oh, Jesus, you would take this envelope and place this envelope, which I got upside down, take this envelope and put it inside here and take this and put it inside there. So in there you have an envelope and also that one paper if your is this color. So guys, it is just that easy. I wanted to bring you on to show you some of the things that you will find inside your absentee ballots and how do you obtain an absentee ballot if it's your first time such as mine. Um, like I said, just go to your county website pull up the voter registration area on that. You do, um, unfortunately, now you don't have any more time left to register to vote. Um, one of my children, I did catch him on the last date because it had to be changed for his address. So I did get it on the exact date and got that taken care of. So um, go on that website, and go in absentee vote, they will ask you why, what is your reason that you are voting absentee. So if you're sick, um, right now in my state, they're asking you to do absentee vote. Although on the website, it's still going to ask you, why are you going to vote absentee? Are you military? Are you a military wife? Are you in the hospital? Are you in the nursing home? Are you over a certain age to get there? Are you a college student? Um, are you away taking care of an elderly parent? Or if you are very ill and you cannot go. So therefore, it is so many different things on there. It will ask you, why are you voting absentee ballot? So guys, after you do that, you will get an email or like on ours, um, a friend of mine did get an email and she just had to print hers. But from mine, once I did everything, it gave me the notification just to print it. I did print it here in my office. And the only thing I did, I signed everything I needed to sign and I dropped it in the mailbox. And how fast it comes, guys. This is the first time I checked my mail in two days, three days, I think. Today is Sunday, so I did not check it Thursday and Friday. I did drop that envelope to my voter registration office on Monday. So guys, in between Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday or Friday at the latest, it was already here. So they are not playing in my county. So guys, once again, I just wanted to show you how to go on to request for your absentee ballot to make sure you mail it in. Make sure, make sure, make sure when you go and put it in the mail, you must have an envelope and a stamp, guys. It must. When you are returning your ballot, you do not, yes, you do not have to have a stamp. So it's already stamped, it's governmental property, so it automatically is paid for. So guys, this is all of the things that you will find inside of your packet. And remember guys, if this is your first time, your first time, read these instructions. They're in there for a reason. 
read these instructions. So guys, this is it. I am Viology over at the Beehive letting you know if you're going to vote absentee vote or want to, you need to get on. Our voting date is November the 3rd. So um, guys, yeah, make sure that you cast your ballot. Make sure your voice is heard. Do not complain about anything in this world if you do not cast your vote. Voting is a privilege. It's a honor for you to vote. If you are a female, I don't care if you purple, black, white, navy blue, stripe, or polka dot. It is our right as women to vote because so many years ago, women could not vote, period. So therefore, it is our right as women to verse our, op our opinion, our vote, cast that vote. You are African-American. I'm African-American descent. So therefore, my people, yes, my people, please go and cast your vote. Don't think because you don't vote, things were going to get different. No, if you vote, you are helping numbers get large enough to make a difference in our world. And that is the biggest thing that we want. We can't keep going Black Lives Matter and we're not going out there to vote because our life do matter. Our votes matter. So take the time to go to the polls or go and do your absentee now because just like Black Lives Matter, our black votes matter. Our votes can change the world. So guys, I'm not going to preach. Just go to your polls and vote. Get your absentee ballot and vote. Cast your vote. Go online. Online, it should have in your county what the ballot looked like. Go on and look at the ballot. If you don't know who some of these people are, or you don't know what the green is, Republican is, apps, if you don't know what these are, you have enough of time now to look over everything to know exactly what you're going to vote for, what your vote is going to mean, what Republican Party means, what the Democratic Party means, what the Green, all, what it means. So you have enough of time right now to do that. So guys, once again, I am done. Please vote. That's all I'm asking. Vote. So guys, this is the Beehive. I'm out. Please like, comment, share, thumbs up my video. And until the next time, guys, I got to go, but I will be back. Bye.